Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm going to make a wiffle ball ice dyed hoodie. So I have a metal container upside down inside of one of my large plastic totes. You can use pretty much anything as long as you can keep the hoodie up off of the bottom of the container. Then for the wiffle balls, I'm going to use some softball and some baseball size wiffle balls. The wiffle balls are going to give some dimension to the hoodie and pretty much make like tall, deep scrunches, but they're going to help hold that shape a little bit better when I add the ice on top. By the way, I'm using one of the Buffalo hoodies, which I purchased from Costco. It's a women's hoodie and it's super soft. If you don't have a Costco in your area, the last time I checked, you could order them online. I'm placing the hoodie with the front side down. I have the hoodie turned inside out to begin with, but in my personal experience, I've found that whatever the side is that's down when I do tall deep scrunches, I think that the die movement on that side looks better. So I usually try to put the front of whatever garment I'm doing tall deep scrunches on facing down. Then I'm going to just lay the hoodie over the top of the wiffle balls and kind of form the hoodie around the wiffle balls. I'm also going to add just a few more of the baseball size wiffle balls. I have a few areas that I feel like I want a little bit more dimension in. By the way, I have links down below in the description for this video for where I purchased the wiffle balls, both the baseball size and the softball size. They're made out of a really hard plastic, so they don't soak up the dye and so to clean them, I just rinse them off with a little bit of soapy water. Okay, so I think that's plenty of wiffle balls underneath this hoodie. It's pretty full of wiffle balls under there. I tried to mix them up and not just put like all the small ones in one area and all the larger ones in one area. I want more of a watercolor feel for this hoodie. So I'm going to start by adding ice over the top of the hoodie and add the dye over the top of the ice. Because it is a hoodie and it's pretty thick, I'm going to add quite a bit of ice to the very top. In this one corner, the hoodie's kind of collapsing down into the container too much. So I'm going to add one more small wiffle ball underneath that area, just so that it holds the fold a little bit better. So for this hoodie, I'm going to use a single color. I'm going to use Strawberry Skies from Happy Cat Tie Dye. If you're not familiar with them, I found them out on Facebook. They have a Facebook tie dye group and they mix their own dyes. They also have a website, so you can head out there and order some of their dye if you'd like to. I kept seeing items made with the strawberry skies and so you know I had to get some and try it because the color was just beautiful. I went a little heavy handed over the top of the ice with the dye. If I were doing it again, I might use just a little bit less so that I could get maybe some more subtle color splits. I don't know. Wait till you see how the hoodie turns out. I mean, it's really pretty, but you'll see. Then over the top of the dye, I'm going to add some additional soda ash. After I added the soda ash, I put the lid on this container and I took it outside. At this point, it was still pretty warm outside, kind of in the 80s that day. So I went ahead and let it process outside and I think it processed for about 24 hours after the ice melted. After I allowed it to process for 24 hours, I took it to my utility sink and I began rinsing it in cold water to rinse out the soda ash. 
Then I warmed the water up to hot and I continued rinsing to rinse out any of the excess dye that didn't bond with the fabric. Because the hoodie fabric is pretty thick, I went ahead and ran some really hot water in my utility sink, added some Blue Dawn dish detergent to the water, and just allowed the hoodie to soak. The Blue Dawn will help neutralize the pH of the water so that any of the excess dye that is soaked out of the hoodie won't rebond back with the hoodie. It really doesn't matter with this type, like hoodie or shirt, because I'm just using a single color. When the water cooled off, I changed it out and I continued that soaking process until the water was almost clear. Then I put the hoodie along with some Dharma's Professional Textile Detergent into my washing machine and I washed it using a hot water cycle. So after the hoodie was washed and dried, this is what it looks like. Okay, so what do you think? So I think this one turned out really pretty. I love the color. I mean, I think that this Strawberry Skies has lots of really cool color splits. But do you see what I mean about maybe a little bit more subtlety? I have a lot of color on this hoodie. I like some of the areas where the color is maybe a little less intense. Don't get me wrong, I love all the color and I think it's beautiful. But I think maybe if I would have been a little bit more light handed with it, I would have seen some more of the dye movement and the color splits a little bit more. Do you also see what I mean about the front side of the hoodie has a little bit better color and dye movement than the back side? Remember I added the color to the back side of the hoodie. I just see those color splits more on the front side and I see more of the dye movement but I'm amazed at all the cool colors that come out of this. Like I said, I've seen quite a few people put and post some of their like shirts and hoodies and things that they've made using this color and they're just gorgeous. I'm definitely gonna mess around with this color a lot more cause I just think it's so pretty. I don't know, the front side of it almost reminds me of caladiums. This summer I've had some caladiums that were kind of that more reddish color in the middle and then green around the edges. And when I look right in the middle of the front side of the hoodie, one of those areas over there just looks like a caladium leaf to me. It's really pretty. I do have a few areas that don't have quite as much color on them as the rest of the hoodie. I don't really mind that just because I think it kind of breaks it up a little bit. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you like this color? Drop me some comments down below and let me know. And if you've enjoyed this video, I sure would appreciate it if you would like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.